And by the way, some of them might be editing their photos. You don't know. Oh, but you might even be going through a phase where you edit your photos. Yeah. That's okay. I did too. Man, are we excited to talk about this real tea juicy sturf. I'm Caitlin. I'm Sarah. And we are your best friends bringing you real life issues yeah and today it's body insecurity so we're talking about body insecurity but we're just gonna break it down into how we feel as people like our struggles our personal insecurities caitlin and i have different body types you know mm -hmm. she fits her body type i fit mine we're different there's so much value in all the body types because just because she's skinnier doesn't mean that she doesn't have insecurities and just because i'm not as skinny and i could fit into a girl who may be relates to the chubbier ones uh that means that i got some insecurities too and they may surprise you and some will probably relate to you which is the cool part of why we're talking about this mm -hmm. if you're in high school or middle school the problems with how you look are starting to get really amplified especially because we have instagram too a lot of amplification of how your body looks like am i getting enough likes if we're being real girls a lot of our stuff stems from because of what we think guys want. And yep. so that's a huge factor in this all too. I've always been a skinny girl my whole life. Middle school, high school, I could eat whatever I wanted. I never thought that much about my body until high school. High school is when the trend of being like thick and getting that big booty started coming around. Even me, who everyone thought of as a skinny girl, was actually starting to get really thinking that I needed to be skinnier and then get a big butt. Oh. There was one girl, remember Alexis Wren? Yes. Alexis Wren, yeah. Her oh. Instagram made me depressed. I would look at her Instagram all the time and then she got a boob job. And that's another thing too is my boobs weren't there. I needed to be thicker. In high school even, there was a few times where <laughs> I would take pictures of bikini pictures and I would just edit them to see what it would look like if my butt uh, was just a little bigger and yeah. my waist was just a little smaller. It led to a lot of insecurity because over time, I just started thinking that I had basically a flat like pancake butt that my body was not attractive, that even though I was skinny, I really didn't have that look that was in style. Mm. I had to stop editing my photos because it really started to emphasize what wasn't there. Because I saw what my body would look like if it was just a little better. When I looked in the mirror, bro, all that's I, such a good point. All I could think was compared to what I edited, it doesn't look good. Bro, it that is so good. true. When you edit your pictures, you create this false reality, but then you look at yourself when you're not edited and it's like, man, my body sucks. Uh-huh. A few years later, I started to get into health and fitness and I got really muscular. My main goal because of that high school insecurity was to grow my butt. <laughs> Then I started looking at girls like Lynn Lowe's. Oh, Megan Grubb. Megan Grubb. Oh my gosh, all the Gymshark models. She has a good body, yeah. So my insecurity shifted from comparing myself to Alexis Wren to all those Gymshark girls. I was getting really muscular, but still I was never satisfied. I was yeah. always wanting a bigger butt, tinier waist, this or that. And I was in a good place. And now in the quarantine, I haven't worked out in three months. I've lost a lot of muscle. I've honestly lost a lot of weight. So I'm starting to feel once again like that skinny girl. And I'm feeling basically really discouraged again. Looking at old photos from a year ago when I was working out and seeing, wow, like my butt was really popping out. But it's funny because at the time when I would look at that photo, I would think, wow, like that's pathetic. I haven't mm. even progress at all where i'm at right now that's where i'm at right now okay and then i would say i more relate to the story of the girl which i know a few of them who relate to me my body structure is more i'm five two mm -hmm. shorter my legs i'm well proportioned my arms get a little chubbier when i gain weight and my belly on the side widens when i gain weight and that was a mad insecurity of mine was the widening of my waist because mm -hmm. From the bro, that means that front pictures suck. Like you look so wide. Once I learned that I was a little chubby in about seventh or eighth grade, I was like, that's it. Just learn all about working out and fitness and stuff. Would I say that my whole journey has been one of wholesome good knowledge? Heck no. I went on the cycles where I did a treadmill for like six months straight, ate healthy meals, what I would follow all the healthy people on Instagram. I would make perfect meals and I put so much energy mm. and effort into it. What that led to for me is the second I effed up and I failed, then it was just a, I was at 
basic girl with that downward spiral. So once you I already ate a donut? Ate, once I ate a donut, might as well eat two more donuts. Cycle of self-destruct and you already failed, so might as well just sit in that failure. All or nothing, like you gotta be perfect all the time. Yep. Eat the salads, eat the good meals, yes. then the second you get a cookie, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight it's a 3,000 calorie night. No, literally. Cycle. From seventh grade all the way to the end of high school. These last two years, are the only two years of my whole health and fitness journey that I've actually enjoyed my body. Even though I was skinnier a few years ago after that process, I still felt not confident and I still felt jiggly and I still felt like, sure, the scale went down, but mm -hmm. I looked just like a shrunk version of the chubby girl that I was. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I didn't change even though I lost weight. And right now, during quarantine, what has happened is I haven't really worked out much for three months. Mm -hmm. Did outdoor workouts. I'm just now, this last week, getting back into the gym. I did splurge on desserts a lot more often. So I would say my body doesn't feel how it did before quarantine. I feel jigglier. And it feels a little foreign getting back into workouts. It's like, this feels so weird. But that's what it feels like when you get back into something that you haven't been in for a while. I feel the same. And even right before the quarantine, I was in a workout rut. Now I'm not going to the gym yep. for three months. I really haven't worked out legit in a long, <laughs> long yeah. time. And it almost feels really discouraging to even go back and think, am I ever going to get back to that prime? So it I almost know. makes me not even want to start, but I know that's a bad I way know. to go about it. Also, follow us on Instagram because we do talk about our bodies. I just posted a body um, thing. You'll see my little mm -hmm. belly. Just follow us there, girl. Follow us and subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. I'm gonna throw out a statement. I don't think what we crave is actually the perfect body. I think what we crave, and test this out in your own life, is to simply feel comfortable in your skin. But to be comfortable in your skin means that you're making choices for yourself. And I think a lot of us feel out of control. We feel out of control because we're not choosing ourselves enough. And I think someone needs to tell you that is it might not be arriving at your body problem. It's that nobody's told you it's actually, you're not choosing yourself enough. And sometimes choosing yourself is hard because it means to work out first thing in the morning. When you leave that workout, you feel good. And look, your body's probably not even there yet. It's because you made a decision for yourself. You stuck to the decision, which is what takes a strong person. And now you're feeling that hype feeling. Start to choose yourself in hard ways. It's not like put you first. It's more like do something hard for yourself and stick to it. Show yourself the kind of boss that you are. I think a lot of us are, of our society is not that much of bosses anymore. And that's why we're struggling. It's because it's hard to be successful because it takes consistency which we don't practice enough start choosing let me do this for me let me eat this for me it's so hard to say no to that junk food because but i gotta say no it's gonna feel good we want to feel like we're choosing ourselves mm. we're craving that control we're craving to feel comfortable in our skin another one for me i was really craving to be validated i kept imagining that if i had that insta perfect body that <laughs> yeah that i would have like 10,000 followers on instagram Bro like that's facts. just being real even on another level what i was kind of craving was validation like how people would think so how good true. i looked boys that would boy give me so much attention that that guy I have a crush on would DM me finally. That's a good thing for me to recognize even now because I still go back to it sometimes. I know that my validation and my comfort and my security cannot come from likes on Instagram, from DMs, because what happens is they run dry. When I look back on those old photos of me, from when I used to go to the gym, I realized that I'm really not missing the that literal much. body. And I think of the memory that I have where I woke up for the fourth day in the week in a row to go to the gym and get up at That's what seven. I'm saying. And I felt so energized and I was eating all those good meals and yep. I had good. What I'm really reminiscing on is that feeling that I had where I was going through life and working out makes you feel good, man. I had control. I could do more with my body. I was having more fun. Yep. It's so true. What I was missing was not the literal body, it was actually just how taking care of my body was making me feel my life. You gotta be real, what kind of lifestyle do you want? And you gotta choose it. It doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. Yeah, exactly. What are we gonna do to get back on track? Mm. To get back on track, I'm gonna first start lifting weights again because I realize that's really actually what I'm missing. I'm gonna start slow, meaning if I don't feel like going to the gym that day, then I'm just gonna 
say, okay, I'm gonna go, and if after 20 minutes I'm not feeling it, I'm yep. allowed to leave. I would like to start craving to eat a lot more food, good proteins, lettuce, eggs, all that stuff. I'm going to be getting back to it with the motivation of wanting to feel energized throughout my day. So whatever is gonna make me feel energized throughout my day, I'm gonna do it. Boom. The best thing for me is to work out in the morning. Literally first thing, mm. do my best to go to sleep earlier and wake up early and do that. I'm a morning person, so morning for me is like, ah, I'm obsessed. And mm -hmm. the gym just hypes that up. I'm not really aiming for like a certain body look at this age, mm -hmm. we're 21 years old. What I'm looking for is a good feeling. So good feeling, exactly. I'm chasing energy, I'm baby. Ch yeah. Um, I want to be eating food that makes me feel good and that didn't doesn't make me feel like if I'm being honest a failure because when I eat something straight because I was peer pressured into eating it or because it's all there was and I know I didn't put energy into making something good mm -hmm. it makes me feel like a bit of a fail because I just wait I just ate a meal that I didn't even care for I'm gonna do my best to eat good meals just every time I look in the mirror and I'm a little discouraged of the results of what eating like how I've been eating. Uh, has done to me and I see that my belly's wider um, what I really do is I just say we'll get there soon it's fine like it's fine it's not a big deal this is just what happens and I kind of move on I put a confident outfit on because I used to just put on baggy shirts and stuff when I was feeling fat mm -hmm. but I've learned that that makes you feel worse because to have something baggy it. yeah to have something baggy doesn't even make you feel confident a lot you're like of the time. manifesting your feelings exactly mm -hmm. so I forced myself to walk out in a sports bra when we're on a walk mm -hmm. jiggle and all because that sweat feels good and it's mm -hmm. not affecting my whole life. That's the real reels. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Something that actually helps me is to focus a little bit on the immediate results. Meaning, <laughs> I know that even if I don't want to work out right now, I can remember that after this workout, I'm going to yes. feel proud of myself. I know that I don't want to work out right now, but I know if I work out today, I'll get a better sleep yes. tonight. For the short term, focusing on those kind of immediate results that we get which isn't a good long-term strategy but it is good to just get you back into the lifestyle bro that's so that's good advice that wraps up our video we had so yes. much fun talking about this and we really hope that this has helped you because being fit is really fun but we just got to go at things with the right mindset subscribe to our channel as you can see we're all about being real we're all about being your best friends you being our best friends and this real community we don't tiptoe around things we like to be real because yeah. you're real as crap i just admitted that i edited my photos yeah come video. on we love you guys so much see you in the next video check out our real struggles and solutions playlist if you want more relatability bye, bye.